House Speaker Brian Bosma smiles during the opening session in the House Chambers, on Organization Day at the Adia State House, Tuesday, November 21, 2017, photo, Kelly Wilkinson forward slash Indistar, by photo. An Adia lawmaker filed a bill Tuesday that would completely ban abortions in Adia, a measure that threatens to deepen a nasty rift between Republican leaders and social conservatives on the far right. The ongoing feud has already led conservative activists to protest at the churches of House Republican leadership, question leaders' morals and attack House Speaker Brian Bosmar on a recent Facebook post about his mother's death. In response, Bosmar called for civility on the ceremonial start of session, saying he refuses to participate in the long spiral to uncivil comment in political life. More, seven heady issues for the 2018 ADR legislature, pot, booze and more. More, Colts fans offended by Anthem kneeling could receive refunds under legislative proposal. More, oops, they did it again. IDR agency wrongly issues fines to stores selling CBD oil. However, the recent social media attacks could signify what's to come during the upcoming legislative session. The signs would suggest that things are going to get worse before they get better, even if there has been a call for civility, said Robert Dion, a political scientist at the University of Ivazville. An increasingly vocal faction of social conservatives say they feel abandoned by their party's leaders, and upset that more has been done after five years with Republican supermajorities in both chambers of the General Assembly. I believe a supermajority is one of the most dangerous things you can have, said Monica Boyer, Tea Party activist and leader of the ADR Liberty Coalition. Once you have a supermajority that doesn't have to be held accountable to their constituents, then the big money, the chamber money, controls and the constituents are forgotten. Resistance to the proposed abortion ban is just the latest issue to rile social conservatives. Last legislative session Republicans passed a 10-cent gas tax increase in order to fund road construction and maintenance. Conservative groups saw the plan as a massive tax hike. In previous years, social conservatives have watched in disappointment as lawmakers rejected a same-sex marriage ban and scaled back it as controversial Religious Freedom Restoration Act. The angst has led to the creation of several new groups, including Hoosiers for Life, the primary organization leading the charge for a total abortion ban. The group has grown 300% since its inception about a year ago, according to Executive Director Amy Schlichter. But the group's uncompromising approach and some of its tactics have divided it as anti-abortion movement, which has traditionally taken a slower, piecemeal approach. It does bring about a rift in the life movement and the Republican caucus as well. It puts them in an awkward position, said Mika Clark. Executive Director of the Socially Conservative American Family Association of Idia. I'm not sure what the pro-life movement can do within the boundaries of the courts that we haven't already done.